Okay, okay, welcome guys. So in this video, uh, I want to talk about some classical way to prove there are infinite primes and uh, there are infinite primes of the form for n plus one and uh, there are infinite primes of the form for minus one. Okay, so let's uh, yeah, this is my own note. Okay, so let's quickly uh, review the first case. Okay, so the simplest case that people know is that uh, there are infinite primes. Uh, basically, this proof is very creative by the uh, by the uh, old ancient uh, Euclidean. So the proof is that uh, let suppose only finite primes. So let's say p1, p2, p3, and pn, and uh, the p1 is two, p2 is three, p3 is five. Uh, everybody knows. Yeah. So let large n to be p1 times p2 times p3 up to pn plus one. So you see, uh, this pi for each i do not divide n, right? Because this n divided pi will have the remainder one, so that means n is prime, right? But uh, we know that n must larger than pn, so uh, contradiction, right? So yeah, the proof is it's done. So this proof is very creative. That uh, it's not it's not immediately it's, it's not immediately easy to see uh, how to generalize generalize the, uh, this kind of proof. Okay, uh, but we prove there. Uh, we go to the next. So next is there are infinite primes of the form four n plus three. Also, this is the uh, the old the, the test uh, the test example. Maybe everybody, if you learn uh, number theory in the course, that uh, this is a good homework. <laughs> so four n plus three. So we get uh, so n equals zero is three. Three is prime. Uh, one is seven. Seven is prime. Eleven is prime. Okay. So this idea is that uh, we we do the same thing. Okay. Suppose there are finite primes of the form for n plus three. So we get the p zero, p one, p two up to p n, and then we let n to be right. We just guess right. So we just four times p one, p two, p n up to p n plus three. Okay. So notice that n is odd, right? Because this is even plus odd. So n is odd. So any prime factor of n is odd. Okay. Everybody agree, right? But uh, so you see, n is four. N if n divided by four, right, mass three. So that means there exists a prime factor such that p divides n, p is a form of four mass three. Okay, the reason is that uh, uh, every prime factor for odd prime factor can only be four n plus one or four n plus three. Okay, but the two four n plus three multiple will get four n plus. Uh, so two four n plus one. Multiple will get four n plus one. Two, mu two multiple four n plus three will get four n plus one. So since it's four n plus one, right? So there exists must exist some prime factor such that p divides n and the p is a form of four n plus three. Okay. But what is p? What is p? Okay. So uh, first, I want to prove that p cannot be three, and uh, this is obviously. Let me see. So right, if n minus three is three, if three divides n, then three will divide. A mass three, so three will divide four p one up to p n, and this cannot happen, right? Because three did not divide four, and three did not did not all the p do not divide all the p i, right? Because p three is p zero, and then p one is seven. Okay. Okay. Also, uh, p cannot be any p i, and uh, this is easy. Uh, p cannot be any p i. The reason is obvious. Right, because if p, oh sorry, sorry, uh, what what I was saying about so p p i cannot divide n, right? P n cannot divide n. The reason is that if you just uh, you you can check right, if you mod p i, then this turn cancel right, gets three mod p i, right? But p i is not the same. P i is greater than three, right? So so this equation cannot uh uh this equation cannot be correct. If you n divide pn, then this cannot be zero. Okay, so p cannot equal to pi, right? But this is contradiction because we I already said that we only have finite proof of finite primes of n plus three. But now n has a prime factor with n plus three, but it's not not at the least. So contradiction. So we are done. So there are infinite primes of n plus three. Okay. Uh. Okay. So let's go to the third one. So third one is also uh people like to talk. Uh, it's a little bit tricky. So there are only finite primes of the form for n plus one. So uh, p zero is p zero is one, uh, right? But p zero cannot one cannot be prime. So the first one is five. Okay. So for each n, uh, let's define a uh, capital n to be n factorial square plus one. Okay. And let p be the smallest prime factor divided n. Okay. So notice that uh, n is odd. 
right? Because n factorial is even when n equals、uh, greater or equal to two, right? So n is odd. So、uh, p is so p is odd, right? So if p oh let's first see p greater than n, right? If p cannot if p is not greater than n, then the, if you divide p, then this n factorial will be zero. Then n you will get n equals one mod p. So this is this can, so p cannot divide n. So the only possibility is that p greater than n. Okay. And the second is that we we can prove that p must be the form of four n tilde plus one. The reason is that、uh, okay we start from the Fermat less uh sorry Fermat the little theorem. So n factorial to the p minus one mod p is one. Okay. If you don't know how to prove this Fermat little theorem, you can go to my、uh, YouTube channel and type Fermat little theorem.、Uh, I I mean I I have the proof. Okay, now n factorial. Ah,、uh, we already know the capital N divides P. So this equation comes from N equals to zero mod P by our、uh, assumption. So N factorial square is minus one mod P. So N factorial square times P minus one divided by two will be minus one P minus one divided by two. Mod P, but the、uh, by definition, by this、uh, Fermat little theorem is one mod P. So we get the、uh, minus one P minus two divided by two should be one, right? So P minus one divided by two must be even. So P is a、uh, four n tilde plus one four. Okay, so that means if I let n increase, then P always increase, right? Because P always greater than n, right? So I have infinite. So the integer,、uh, integer can be arbitrary large. So that means P can be arbitrary large. So there is this infinite form of four until that plus one. Uh, uh, there are infinite primes of the form of four plus one. Okay, so actually, uh, we already proved that、uh, there are infinite primes. So infinite primes. Okay, and then we also have the four n plus one infinite, and then we have the four n minus one infinite. Okay, and then if you love the very love、uh, like the number theory, you can prove that a n plus b has infinite prime. Uh, if A B are uh, co-prime, uh, this is not very、uh, not easy to prove. If you want to prove in general A B, you need to use the numbers. You need to use the a Dirichlet a Dirichlet character and、uh, like the zeta function. So, if I have chance, then I will I will go do a、uh, rigorous proof for this one. But、uh, hopefully, if I do this proof, then probably no nobody will nobody want to see. Okay. Okay, and I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.